box means it's okay. We're here um, this morning with Zipcar. We're gonna do a road trip and we're going on a mystery trail adventure with Mr. Trails himself. I have no idea where we're going. We've um, found the car on the road now and it's uh, quite simple really, wasn't it, Ray? Yeah, it was. I mean, it, it took seconds, literally seconds, using the app to find the car and then to open the car remotely and then, you know, to locate the keys. So yeah, okay. we, were, we were going in no time. So we made it to Devil's Punch Bowl over in uh, the west. Uh, where are we? Where is that? I don't know, west of London. South, south of England, the south of London. Currently on the trails now. You can see Ray trying his hardest not to slip. Oh. So what we're doing is uh, we'll be doing a 13k loop. Uh, we're going to follow the map, which I've got on my wrist. So Ray's not going to shoot off because uh, Otherwise, he'll get lost, okay? There seems to be a theme of today that I don't know where I'm going on our run. I didn't know where we were going on our drive. So it's an adventure, and I know no one better to be out here with than the King of Trails. What do you think of it so far? It's been great. I mean, um, the car, zip car was easy to get into, nice, smooth drive, no worries. Easy to park, easy to lock again. And um, yeah, just ready to keep running. Let's see what today brings. What about the trails? Oh, the trails are beautiful. I mean, uh, I haven't seen anything like this for a while. This is great. Um, I could definitely get lost out here. Lucky I've got you. Uh, the first big climb of the day over at Devil's Punch Bowl. He's doing well. But usually we just walk this because it's going to be a long day anyway. <laughs> I mean, how do you stay focused for so long? Well, you first is you've got to actually love being out here, right? If you, if you don't do something you don't love. So, if, yeah, if you switch off any moment, you're just going to find yourself flying over. So for me, it's always, it's like chess. You're planning three steps ahead. So it's a thinking kind of run, unlike road running where you're pretty much just kind of focusing on your speed, focusing on your time, and that can quite get quite uh, monotonous, monotonous. So yeah, just uh, enjoy the routes and the trails, yeah. Yeah, I mean, one thing I know is that I couldn't do this if I was tired, really have to be alert, but actually it's not tiring being alert, it's actually quite fun, you know, feeling kind of childlike, jumping over things and splashing through puddles so yeah trail is really interesting try running a race where you need to be on your alert 24 hours i've done a few of those in my time that sounds a bit extreme but i guess that's where the word ultra comes in okay so alan how did you get into trail running uh it's actually for basically i was going for a really bad time in my life I was made redundant of my job, I broke my leg and uh, there's other things going on and then I just felt enough was enough, I needed a bit of escape. So in 2013, I signed up for uh, a mountain multi-stage race in Himalayas. Uh, I did quite well in that, came in the top 10 I think. So I thought, okay, yeah, that's, this is, I'm pretty good at this. So uh, I just then, from then on, just started running a lot of trails and then look to bigger and bigger races just to see how I can uh, keep bettering my adventures mm -hmm. and uh, this is where we are now and um, what do you get out of it? Uh, I think the massive satisfaction of investing so much time in the training and uh, also just personal goals as well mm -hmm. you know, when you achieve something that you kind of uh, wanting to succeed in so well it makes that finishing, crossing the line much sweeter. Yeah. Awesome. 